What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Chemistry Basics presented by Doc Dean's Pools. I am James and today we are talking all about stabilizer. Now stabilizer has a whole lot of names. You may know it as conditioner or cyanuric acid. Those are the two other common ones. Now cyanuric acid is not to be confused with muriatic acid. They have two very, very different purposes. Cyanuric acid typically comes in a granular form but if you go to a pool store, you may find something called conditioner or stabilizer, which comes as like a liquid. That's gonna be pretty much the same thing. They do the same purpose in your pool. Now the granular is far more commonly used by pool professionals such as ourselves, because frankly, carrying around a 50 pound bag of cyanuric acid is far easier and takes up much less space on the back of a truck than trying to carry it in liquid form. Cyanuric acid is also used in dichlor and trichlor, so chlorine tabs and pucks will all also have a degree of cyanuric acid in them. Now there are some pool professionals that will say that cyanuric acid is not necessary to proper chemical maintenance in your pool, and I wholeheartedly disagree with them, especially in environments like in Florida, where we experience a whole lot of rain and a lot of sunshine, especially over the summer. Stabilizer is gonna help us keep a check on our chlorine levels and make sure that we're able to maintain chlorine over a week long period much, much easier and much more simply than if we didn't have it. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna commonly switch between the words cyanuric acid and stabilizer. They are the same thing. So what does stabilizer do? Well, as the name implies, it stabilizes your chlorine levels. Now, chlorine works as a sanitizer by oxidizing. Now, if you know anything about rust, you know what oxidation is. And if you've seen the back of any pool guy's pool truck, you've definitely seen the results of some of this oxidation. Now, one of the things that accelerates oxidation of chlorine is ultraviolet light from the sun. And you may initially think, well, if oxidizing chlorine means that it's burning more, that's a good thing. You absolutely do want the chlorine to oxidize, and we'll talk about this a little bit later, but what you don't want it to do is to be unnecessarily oxidized and burned and used just by ultraviolet light hitting it. So we use stabilizer to combat the sun. Now you may think, I have a salt chlorine generator. I don't need stabilizer. You can get away without stabilizer and salt chlorine pool, but I would definitely implore you to use stabilizer, and I'll tell you why. I see a lot of people that crank up their salt chlorine generators onto super chlorinate and 100% and they simply leave it there all the time. You really don't wanna put these systems at their absolute maximal output for long periods of time. It does put a little bit more stress onto the system as a whole and you may get a little bit less time out of it. Whereas if you used your cyanuric acid and you maintained your stabilizer readings in your pool, you can often reduce that output on your salt system to between 50 and 70%. And you can get an even longer lifespan out of your salt system. And if you spent over $1,000 putting a salt system in, you definitely want to get every single week out of that thing that you possibly can. So by now, I hope that I've convinced you that you definitely should be using cyanuric acid in your pools. What then is the correct ranges? Because it sounds a whole lot like, well, if it's preventing wasted chlorine, the more of this, the better, right? Wrong. <laughs> Just like with every other chemical that we use, we need to worry about keeping it within a correct range. And for stabilizer, we are going to be looking between 30 and 50 parts per million. The absolute maximum that you should ever go to is 100 parts per million. That is because the World Health Organization has found that there may be some negative side effects with going above 100 parts per million. Uh, that in conjunction with the fact that also going over 100 parts per million on your stabilizer can wreak some absolute havoc on your LSI readings. So we always wanna make sure that the top end that we ever wanna see with our cyanuric acid is 100 parts per million. Cyanuric acid also behaves a little bit like salt in that it's not really a chemical that can be used up per se. Like, you know, chlorine, it's gonna be depleted by any time that we get rain, when the sun shines on it, anytime somebody goes swimming. There's so many things that can negatively affect the chlorine reading and it's always gonna drop it. Now, once you adjust your cyanuric acid levels, you really shouldn't have to do a whole lot of adjusting over the course of a year. The only time you really should know that you're gonna to need to adjust your stabilizer levels is if you are seeing absolutely insane bather loads. I'm talking about you are partying every single day over the summer. When we do that, we're gonna have some splash out 
and we're gonna have to replenish it. It shouldn't be too bad though. Vaser load typically doesn't affect stabilizer too poorly. What affects stabilizer the most is gonna be the rain, but not in the way that you may think. The rain's gonna affect it because it's gonna raise our water levels and then we actually drain it down. So whenever we drain it down, we're gonna be flushing that stabilizer out. And then over time, we're obviously gonna need to replenish it. And then the final thing is that leaky pools lose stabilizer. Leaky pools are a whole nother thing that I'll talk about in another video and why they are so frustrating and they are often so hard to keep clear. But just know that if you have a leaky pool, your stabilizer is going to be running out, any salt is going to be running out, pretty much all of your chemicals are going to be incredibly hard to maintain. I also just mentioned the LSI scale right there. I didn't go into it too deeply, but I did talk about it in our alkalinity video, which you can check out up here, or you can check out the alkalinity blog post on the docdeanspools.com blog. I'll link that below as well. Now with stabilizer coming in two different forms with granular and liquid, there are obviously gonna be two different administration methods. When it comes to the liquid, you can often just pour that straight into the water, allow it to circulate and it will dilute, but obviously check with the manufacturers on what they recommend. When it comes to granular, I do not recommend you ever put this straight into the pool unless completely unavoidable. Granular cyanuric acid can take a very long time to dissolve. And if it sits on the pool surface for too long, especially if we have colored surfaces, there is the potential for it to pull some color out. My recommendation is to take the cyanuric acid and to pour it directly into the skimmer line. The reason we're gonna do this, it will get pulled through the system, through the pump basket and be put into the filter and then the stabilizer will be able to dissolve on the filter. It'll dissolve just fine with all the water rushing through it. If it stays on the filter, there's no risk of any kind of staining or anything like that. And with the water running over it constantly, it will dilute and it will get through all that water, dissolve fantastically, and then your stabilizer level will be great and good to go. So increasing your pool stabilizer level is pretty simple, but decreasing it is a whole nother thing. Now, there have been lots of chemicals developed over the years that are intended to lower cyanuric acid levels. Personally, I've never had much success with them. The problem with a lot of these chemicals that reduce cyanuric acid readings is that they often require very specific chemical conditions that if you have high stabilizer are often quite difficult to achieve. But there is one guaranteed way to solve your stabilizer problems. But unfortunately, it is something that nobody ever wants to do we have to drain the pool. Now, dilution is really straightforward. It just requires some basic math to figure out where you're gonna get to. If you've got a 15,000 gallon pool and you have 100 parts per million of stabilizer, if you wanna get that down to 50, you're gonna need to drain 7,500 gallons out of the pool or half drain it. Huge thing to take note of, if you are using a well to refill your water, you're gonna to need to figure out a way to make sure that you don't end up putting untreated water into that pool. Now when we're talking about five, 10, 15,000 gallons in order to refill a pool, with wells, oftentimes they can shut off the filtration system and the last thing that you wanna to have to do is then combat unfiltered water going into your pool because let's face it, if you've just tried lowering your stabilizer levels, odds are you've got a little bit of a green problem. The last thing that we want to exacerbate that is to have a green problem with unfiltered water, metal problems from unfiltered water, and mineral problems from unfiltered water. We don't wanna be having to put a chemical concoction in this thing just because we wanted to dilute the water down. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind if you are using a well. But this pretty much covers stabilizer and cyanuric acid or conditioner, whatever you want to call it. It can be found in some other chemicals. The reading that you want to go for is between 30 and 50 parts per million. If you do that, you'll be totally good to go. The absolute top limit that we ever want to hit is only 100 parts per million. There are chemicals that can reduce it, but the best method is always going to be to dilute the pool down. And then for administration, we've got liquid and granular form. If you're using liquid, check with the manufacturer but most of the time it's going to be fine to just pour in going around the pool but if we have granular i definitely recommend putting it through the skimmer line so that we coat that filter with the stabilizer and we don't leave anything that's going to be sitting on the floor of your pool for any extended periods of time so this has been the chemistry basic series all about cyanuric acid and stabilizer i am james from doc Dean's pools if you enjoyed this video please like it 
subscribe to the channel, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram. We are Doc Dean's Pools everywhere. I love talking to you guys. And frankly, you give me a lot of cool ideas for some extra videos and content. Catch you guys in the next one.